Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. You're going to be seeing this on Monday morning, so happy Monday y'all. Happy start of your work week. I hope it is a good week for you, a creative week, and I hope everything goes uh, with ease and that everyone is healthy and happy. Uh, I'm on this morning because I, as you all know, spent yesterday cleaning and prepping and putting away because I had I think I still have more to do today y'all let's just say that when you leave your house alone for five days things happen and they need to be cleaned up but I have an interesting share with for you um, it's some hit and misses from Allie let me tell you uh, a couple of them are big surprise wins I ordered some things I've never ordered from Allie before and I'm pleasantly surprised a couple of them are a known entity so I'm not surprised they're great and uh, there's a dead one and it, it, it makes me laugh and think of Tree made a video ages ago that she had something similar happen. I'm usually very careful and I check the measurements. Oh y'all, I cannot wait to share the dud with you. All right, let's start with the weird that turned out to be pleasantly wonderful. So here I have a lot of trim. I'm trim obsessed. And it's not that I use so much trim to make tassels or dangles. I just like to have nice trim, especially if I'm working on vintage projects or holographic projects. And I haven't been so happy with the, the vintage trim here at Hobby Lobby. And I think it's because I got spoiled in the, in the Holy Land. Those of you who have been here for a year and a half or two know that they had the most beautiful trim at such affordable pricing. So I got spoiled, y'all. But eventually, even what I brought back ran out. So I have really been in need of vintage trim and some shabby trim. Well, I took a gamble and I ordered from a store on Alley. Now, it wasn't a complete gamble because I had ordered Jelly Bean, my friend Janice, some things from there and she loved them. But I really normally don't like buying trim unless I can touch it. I am so pleasantly surprised by these. So the first thing I did was I hauled these heart lace doilies with a little bow and they're about two inches, y'all. And you get a whole bunch for like a dollar. Very happy with these. I ordered this uh, butterfly. Now these I've ordered for a jelly bean. I ordered hers in purple. I got mine in an ivory and she said they were fabulous and y'all they are. They're almost three inches. They're super cute. They're well done. They're little butterfly doilies and they have a lovely pearl in them and you get quite a bit for like a dollar forty. So I'm super pleased with these too. Well this was the shocker. Then they had these really pretty pink poinsettias. And I was like, well, they're either gonna be great or awful. Y'all, they're great. This was like a happy find on Alley. Calling all shabby makers, calling all Dolce lovers. You're gonna love these. Look how gorgeous they are, y'all. They're really beautiful. This was a very happy find on Alley. Wow, I'm just thrilled with these. And then this little fanciness I ordered for when I make tags. And it's a lot nicer and bigger than I was anticipating, y'all. It's super beautiful. It'd make a really great book cover, too. Um, but it's super fancy. So I'm going to save it for something special. And then last but not least, I ordered some of my favorite bridal trim in pink. And it's so much cheaper than Hobby Lobby, y'all. And so much... I, I, this was fabulous. So that was my surprisingly wonderful purchase from Allie. All right. So here's the one where I expected it to be good. And these are things I've ordered before from... KS Craft and I just didn't have them here. I left my roller skate die in Brooklyn and I and also I needed to have two. Sometimes when I'm not sure if I'm going to like a die that's smaller I order one but when you're making embellishments you need two at least. Some people order four because otherwise it takes you forever to die cut out and make. So I love this die. I've ordered it as gifts for people. It's terrific. So I ordered another one of those. I also ordered um, the larger bow insert die from KS Craft because like Susan Tootsie Tucker, I just don't own a lot of bow dies. And recently Miss P bought me some because she knows that. Thank you again, P. Um, but I'm really happy with these. And y'all, I was shocked. I think this is the first time KS Craft has sent me a gift. You know, Alina always sends me a gift when I order something. And look how amazing it is. It's the mini bow. So that was really a pleasant surprise. And then this is a bow I have in New York and for some reason I didn't bring it and I should have because I don't own many bows and I really like this one. So I got this one. I may have to die cut this up for Natasha just because it's really a cute one. All right, so those are the great things I got. Now let's go to the dud. Where is it? It's so small, 
I may have trouble finding it in here. All right, y'all. Take a look at this. Cutely packaged. Oh, y'all. This was supposed to be a card base die. So I was looking for a striped, pinstriped, like peppermint striped die to make cards with. This is what I got. So I guess it's good for three by threes, not even four by twos. Um, and it comes with these mountains and the little eyelet and the piece of holly. And it comes with another piece of holly. I have a lot of holly dies, you know? I don't know that I need this many holly dies. Um, very disappointing. This is not a card size. Uh, I will use it because I do make a lot of miniatures and I'll use it for ATCs for Christmas. But certainly that's a lesson. Normally I check the dimensions very carefully. I'm pretty sure I did on this, but it ended up being a mini instead of a full size. So that y'all is my AliExpress for good and for bad, happy surprises. I'm especially sharing this with you for those of you that can't go out right now to shop because we have spikes in COVID. There are some good finds on Ali for if you're looking for things like this, y'all. All right, well, I am wishing for you a happy and a healthy day. I hope you're doing something fun and creative and I'll see you later on today with some mail. Oh yes, I will. Until then, happy making y'all. Happy making.